Hi guys, today is 21st December 2018 and this is Daily Current Affairs brought to you by Neo AES. And our topics are President's role in Jammu and Kashmir, Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program, Small Satellite Launch Vehicle, Asiatic Lion Conservation Project and our usual sessions, Map Edit Program as well as PQRS that is Previous Question Revision Series. And our very first topic is the President's role in Jammu and Kashmir. This is in news because a president role was imposed in the Jammu and Kashmir. In the case of Jammu Kashmir, the BJP party has withdrew the support from the government formed by PDP as well as BJP in the June itself. So, six months before the BJP party withdrew the support to the PDP party, both are uh, joined together to form the government, but uh, BJP withdrawn, withdrew the support to the government. Thus, the failure of a administrative machinery happened in the state. And in case of other states, if we need to impose a president's rule, it's very easy. But in the case of Jammu Kashmir, first, in, in applying the president's rule, two conditions are there. One is the governor, governor's rule. And after completing the governor's rule for six months, only the president's rule can be imposed. So, what is governor's rule? According to the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir, according to the section 92 of the constitution of the Jammu and Kashmir, a governor's role need to be imposed in, in the Jammu and Kashmir. If the governor's role is completed for 6 months, then only after that the president's role can be imposed. So, I already told you the BJP has withdrew support to, uh, support to the government. Thus, the administrative machinery in the state failed in the uh, month June uh, in, around June 20th, this after 6 months and immediately after the failure of the administrative missionary, the uh, union government has imposed a governor role as uh, part of the section 92 of the Jammu and Kashmir constitution and now it is December 20. So, you can count almost 6 months, no not almost but uh, rightly 6 months. So, after the 6 months, now the president role is imposed. And the condition for imposing president's rule is only one. The governor's rule for the state, the governor's rule for the particular state should stay for a period of six months without invoke. So, now the president's rule is imposed in the Jammu and Kashmir. In all state except Jammu and Kashmir, president's rule be, can be imposed at the first instance. But in the case of Jammu Kashmir, a governor's rule for six months should be there. And after the completion of that particular period, only President's rule can be imposed. And our next news is about the Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program. The main objective of this program to help rural households, including the women, to set up entrepreneurs. The main objective of this program, Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program, is to help the rural households, including the women, to set up enterprises. And this SVEP, Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program, is a sub-scheme of the Deen Dayal Andhyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. So, thus it is a sub-scheme of the DAY NRLM, Deen Dayal Andhyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. And the main objective is to help the rural households to set up enterprises. So, uh, the objective is to promote entrepreneurship among the rural households. And the program is implemented by the Ministry of Rural Development. Here, the entrepreneurs have the freedom to identify the sectors in which they want to start the business depending on the market potential. In this particular scheme, the entrepreneurs can have the sectors or can choose the sectors in which uh, they, they, they find that having the market potential. And two bodies which are helping this particular scheme is the Kudumbasri of Kerala, Kudumbasri Mission of Kerala as well as the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India of Ahmedabad or Gujarat. And these two organizations are supporting the SVEP program. So, our news is about the Startup Village Entrepreneurship Program. The main objective is to help rural households to start enterprises or to promote the entrepreneurship in, in the rural households including the women. It is a sub-scheme of the Deen Tayal Andhyodaya Yojana under the National Rural Livelihood Mission 
and the agency for implementation of this program is the Ministry of Rural Development and the two agencies supporting these are Kudumbasri of Kerala as well as the EDII, Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India of Ahmedabad. Our next news is about the small satellite launch vehicle. The ISROs, the ISROs Vikram Sarabhai Space Center that is VSSE at Tumba, Kerala has completed the design of small satellite launch vehicle that is SSLV. We, we heard about the launch vehicle and small satellite launch vehicle is just like baby rockets. They are rockets but smaller in size and can launch the small kind of satellites. And the very advantage of this particular kind of rockets is the time for assembling this rocket is just 15 days. So a new rocket can be a new baby rocket or small side launch vehicle can be assembled within 15 days uh, with a minimum number of personnel. When compared with GSLV and PSLV even the size is also small. It is 10 meters shorter than the PSLV. It is 15 meters shorter than the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle that is GSLV. So they are SSLV is nothing but the baby rockets which, which is used to launch small size satellites, small sized satellites and only 15 days is required for the assembling of this particular rocket and the minimum number of persons are required. And the size is also less when compared with GSLV and the PSLV. And even though the size is less, the SSLV or the small satellite launch vehicle can place a 500 kg payload. 500 kilogram payload at a distance of 500 kilometer. So it's a game of 500 and 500. So this can launch a 500 kilogram payload and in, in 500 kilometer distance in the low earth orbit. Like GSLV as well as PSLV, SSLV also can accommodate the multiple satellites of the smaller size. So our news is about the small satellite launch vehicle. Recently the ISROs Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Kerala has completed the design of SSLV and it can launch a, it is lesser in size than GSLV and PSLV but it can launch a payload of almost 500 kg at a distance of 500 km in a low earth orbit. Our next news is about the Asiatic Lion Conservation of Project. The Environment Ministry has launched the Asiatic Lion Conservation Project and as the name suggests the main a focus or the main aim of this project is to protect the Asiatic lion and the associated ecosystems. It is to protect the Asiatic lion and the associated ecosystems and the funding for this particular scheme will be under the centrally sponsored scheme development of wildlife habitat. Development of wildlife habitat, the funding of this program will be under the development of wildlife habitat. It is a centrally sponsored scheme, thus the name CSS DWH. And the contributions are like 60 is to 40. 60 will be contributed by the union and the 40 will be contributed by the state. And when coming to the history of the Asiatic lions, earlier Asiatic lions were fined from the Persia or Iran to the eastern India. But if now the number or the area of Asiatic lion is also decreased and it is limited to the Gir Reserve Forest and the Gir National Park area. Earlier in 1890s, due to the wide hunting as well as the habitat loss, the number of Asiatic lions were decreased to just 50. But now, after the government interventions from 1890, 1890 till today, the number we could increase the number to almost 500. And now, almost 523 Asiatic lions are present in the gear protected area. And the Gir protected area comprises Gir National Park, Gir Sanctuary, Pania Sanctuary and the Mithyala Sanctuary. So almost 523 Asiatic lands are present in the Gir National Park or Gir protected area network which comprises Gir National Park, Gir Sanctuary, Pania Sanctuary and Mithyala Sanctuary. Also the associated reserve forest. So the news is about the Asiatic Lion Conservation Project. It is to conserve the Asiatic Lion as well as its protected or the its associated ecosystems and it will be under the centrally sponsored scheme, development of wildlife habitat, uh, centrally sponsored scheme, 
uh, at a contribution level of 60 to 40, 60 by the union and 40 by the state and uh, almost 523 Asiatic lands are present in, in India and uh, they are mainly concentrated in the Gir National Park or Gir, Gir protected area. And our next session is the map added program. On map added program, we have the Araku Valley and Araku Valley is a hill station in the Vishakhapatnam district of Andhra Pradesh. So, it is a hill station in the Vishakhapatnam district of the Andhra Pradesh and it is a valley in the eastern Ghats. So, we know, we know the location of eastern Ghats and it is a valley in the eastern Ghats and often referred as the Uti of Andhra. Hope you are popular with the famous hill station called as Uti which is in Tamil Nadu and this Araku Valley is called as the Uti of Andhra. The Anandagiri as well as the Sunkari Metta Reserve Forest are the part of this Araku Valley. Anandagiri and Sunkari Metta Reserve Forest are part of this Araku Valley. And a mineral which is very abundant in this area is bauxite. So, Araku Valley consists of a large mines of bauxite. The area is mined for bauxite. And Galikonda Hills. Galikonda Hills amongst the highest peaks in the Araku Valley. So, Araku Valley is in Andhra Pradesh. It is called as the, it is often referred as the Uti of Andhra, part of the Eastern Ghats. The Anandagiri as well as Sunkari Metta Reserve Forest are part of this uh, Araku Valley. And Araku Valley is very popular for its bauxite reserves. Also, Galikonda Hill is amongst the highest peaks in the Araku Valley. And this is Araku Valley. You can see it's a very, very beautiful pictures queue location. And this is Araku Valley. And our final session is the PQRS, that is previous question revision series. Here is a question from the 2014 prelims in the environment portion. Consider the following statements. One, bats, bears and rodents. The phenomenon of hibernation can be observed in which of the above kinds of animals? Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, 1, 2 and 3. Option D, hibernation cannot be observed in any of the above. So, here the question is about hibernating animals. Hibernating animals. Before answering this, we could know what is the hibernation. Hibernation is nothing but it is a state of greatly reduced metabolic activity. Not like like sleeping or it is a state of greatly reduced metabolic activity. Metabolic activity will be less during that hibernation period and lowered body temperature. So, the mammals have a lesser metabolic activity as well as a lower body temperature uh, and mainly this hibernation is used as an adaptation to the winter conditions. So, in order to adapt with the winter, the mammals reduce their metabolic activities as well as the body temperature in order to adapt the winter conditions. Thus, uh, where the question is about hibernation and they have given three options, bats, bears and rodents. And which of the following do hibernation? So, uh, bats do hibernation, bears do hibernation as well as rodents do hibernation. Thus, the answer for this question is 1, 2 and 3. Option C. So, what is hibernation? Hibernation is nothing but A, an ability of some mammals can be used as an adaptation to winter conditions or during winter conditions, they reduce their metabolic activity as well as the body temperature. They reduce the metabolic activity as well as the body temperature in order to tackle the winter and this is hibernation. All those examples or all those options do hibernation during winter season bats, bears and rodents and option C answer is 1, 2, 3 only. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. For detailed news and explanation, you can refer to the PDF and I hope you are following our new website newiscap.com and thank you so much. Good night.